everyone, my name is Holden Hardman. Joined with me is my lovely fiance, Jen. And today we're continuing our journey through Daredevil. Today we're watching Daredevil episode 10. We only have four episodes left in the very first season. We've been having a really fun time with them, especially now that I feel like we're at the latter half of the season. Mm -hmm. Last episode, Foggy just discovered that Matt is the man in the black mask, or the man in black. And uh, that's where we're picking up today. So how are you feeling going into this one? Really good. I am so anxious to see like the fallout from Foggy finding out that the masked man is his friend, partner. Like best friend. Yeah. Yes, like best friend, partner. It's gonna be really, really interesting. Yeah. I imagine it would be something similar to like Matt finding out that you're like <laughs> actually Captain America or something. He yeah. like finds your suit or. Like our Matt? Yeah. Yeah, that would be pretty crazy. Actually, Matt would probably be the one that's doing something under the radar. You think? And you yeah. would come upon... Yeah, but what superhero yeah. would he be? I don't know. I, I'm not thinking superhero. I'm thinking like, he'd probably be like a high-ranking drug dealer or something. Like if I... Like, ranking like, drug like dealer? If I, like if Matt was like, I don't know, like the Pablo Escobar of drug cartels and I stumbled into his closet one day and just found all this cocaine. Like that's something I just would not expect. And I would just be like, what the heck? And Matt would be there to be like, Holden. I'm sorry you had to find out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get it into it. Episode 10. <laughs> if you were like a drug dealer, but like you appear to have like a very clean, healthy life. That's what I'm saying. Walter White. Oh, no. This is awkward. What the hell do I know about Matt Murdock? Uh oh. You stitched me up. Nope. Are you even really blind? Load. Uh, load! Wasn't he in the butterfly effect? Him? Mm hmm. I may have been. He was in Hunger Games, too. You're not from Hell's Kitchen, are you? Yeah, born and raised. So am I! Most people dance around me like I'm made of glass. I, I hate that. Yeah, you're just a guy, right? Really good looking guy. As your wingman, you're gonna open up a whole caliber of women I've only dreamed of <laughs> a lot. World on fire, I got it. But you can see, right? Yeah, in a, in a manner of speaking. No, I, no manner! I didn't even tell my dad after it happened. But you told that nurse Claire. Because I didn't have a choice. Did you blow up those buildings? You really even need to ask that. Yeah, I think I do. It was Fisk. Aww. Aww. It was all Fisk. Uh-oh. She deserves to know. You can't tell her, Foggy, please. Is this what you do? That was in an accident. Oh my god. I'll call you if we need anything. I've never seen Foggy like that. I just lied to somebody that I Aww. care about. I want to know everything. I like this version of Foggy. Madam Gao, pleasure to see you here. That's where Spider-Man dropped off Mary Jane in the first movie. Don't mind us, we just need to use the elevator. Man cannot be both savior and oppressor. Choose. Or others shall choose for you. He keeps me talking. I'm going to climb in there with you. Ooh. <laughs> Hello, gorgeous. Oh, she's got Alzheimer's. Oh man, the notebook. Your dad was a boxer. He didn't teach you any of that stuff, did he? You didn't want me to fight. A blind old man taught you the ancient ways of martial arts. <laughs> what things do you just know? I know you haven't showered since yesterday morning. I know you had onions in your lunch two days ago. You hear a heartbeat from across the room? Helps to anticipate behavior. You listen to her heartbeat without her permission? <laughs> We're lawyers. Anytime I wasn't telling the truth, you knew? If you weren't half dead, I would kick your ass, Murdoch. <laughs> Was anything ever real with us? Watch oh, out, everybody! Yeah, man. I'm blind, Matt Murdoch. Is... She's trying to tell me that you didn't take Spanish to snuggle up to what's her name? The the, what? the Greek girl. Whatever happened to her? She was smoking. Oh man, it didn't work out. Hey, do you get the spins? Uh, it's the equilibrium thing. It's not your eyes. It's even worse for me, I think, because my senses are so are. Uh... Mm. Hmm. Delicate. Yeah. Murdoch and Nelson, attorneys at law. Nelson and Murdoch. Sounds better. We're gonna be the best damn avocados this city's <laughs> ever seen. See that picture of the Hulk? Some of the Incredible Hulk movie. Shit. 
You're out of cream. I keep telling you, you got to be more careful. Without getting lunch, and I thought, what the hell? I'll swing by the county clerk's office and see what I can find. There's some newspapers and a deck Why are you and... giving it to me? I used to be like you back in the day. I know how important it is, Karen. It's just not the most important. The extension didn't come through. Oh, Ben, I... This place? I can't put it in here. There's a nursing home that I just heard about upstate. Take a ride. Come on. What could it hurt? You burned him alive. <laughs> I weren't particularly fond of no boots. I think you're unsettling half the time. <laughs> See me lighting a match? Since you started seeing that woman. Leland. Gal's right. You've changed. I appreciate your support in the matter. Sure, why not? You better be careful. He's going to get burned alive. I know. Yeah. That junkie that killed Elena. They found him. Good. Brett says he took a dive off the roof. Good. They had to sponge him off the sidewalk. Good. Are you telling me the truth? I didn't kill him, Foggy. You never gone that far? No. What happened to all that talk about going after him through the system? Roxxon must vigorously defend its patents and refinement process that you, by admission, had intimate knowledge of. We will be pursuing damages. Damages? You released sensitive information. They're gonna offer us the job. No more interning in a broom closet. You think what happened in there today was right? No, Matt, I don't think it was right. Is this what you want, to be a part of that? Foggy. What are you doing? <laughs> Come on, Mother Teresa, let's go save the world. Say what you need to say. Say what you need to say. There's nothing you can do but swim in sh** and hope you don't get too much in your mouth. Gross. A bit of a strange analogy, Karen. Are you holding her paw? Yeah, she's not feeling good right now. Admissions is on another tour. Shouldn't be too long. Thanks. Mm -hmm. I can't afford this place. This is a waste of time. Maybe it'll be worth the drive. Right after we quit Lamin and Zach, I heard it. Heard what? Little girl. Her father liked to go to her room late at night. I called child services. Good enough reason. Like you're supposed to. And Dad, he was smart. <laughs> he made sure w what he did, how he did it, didn't leave a mark. Well, I couldn't do anything to help that little girl. But I could. Waited till he was alone. Cut his dick off. <laughs> You touch your daughter again, and I will know. He spent the next month in a hospital, eating through a straw. <laughs> you had to keep training all those years since that stick guy, knowing you would do something like this. I don't want to stop. I don't like the way this episode makes me feel. <laughs> You're very pretty. Oh, thank you. Why don't we talk to somebody that actually lives here? Oh God, it's gonna be like her family member right, or something. Let's, let's... Karen. Oh, I don't know you, do I? How, how long have you been here? Oh, I don't know. Ever since my husband passed. Was that your first marriage? Lord, no, he was my third. Your, your first marriage, who was that to? He drank, you know. Did you have any children? He's such a good boy. Comes to see me every weekend. And what's his name? Your son. Wilson. Fisk? Wilson Fisk? It wasn't his fault. Wilson just wanted him to stop. Let me get this uh, recorded. I question the man who wouldn't step forward. That cracks me up. Leland? Mm -hmm. This girl's quite a looker. She's very pretty. Thank you so much for the donation. It means the world to me and to my organization. It's a hell of a speech, Fisk. Ever think about running for office? I'll leave that to people like you, Senator. Got a minute to talk about that zoning issue? Yes, of course. Somebody can't hold his liquor. What the hell is this? We need to leave now. Somebody get a doctor here. Somebody get a doctor. Oh my god, if she dies, he's gonna lose it. Vanessa! You kill every single person. What do you think's gonna happen if I give up now, Foggy? Who's gonna stop Fisk? Oh, I don't know. The law? 
tell that to Elena. If you could have put on a mask and prevented what happened to her, telling her you wouldn't have. It's not fair, Matt. We don't live in a world that's fair. A better place. Kind of sounds like what Fisk keeps saying. Don't say that. Don't twist it around. I made a mistake. Misspelling Hanukkah is a mistake. <laughs> this city needs me in that mask, buddy. Maybe you're right. I only never needed my friend. Aww. Foggy. 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 Tripping and falling, taken out the trash. What is it, a napkin? This is our future. Huh. Feels like a napkin. It's a drawing of a sign. Nelson and Murdoch, attorneys at law. And I'm with you. For better or worse. <laughs> so, sounds like we're getting married. We share everything with each other, our thoughts, our dreams. There is no one I'd rather be doing this with, buddy. Nelson and Murdoch. <laughs> Do you remember that sign at the Marvel Museum? I remember the Daredevil suit. And it had his glasses. That sign was up there as well. Oh, crap. In the Spider-Man game, you can find their office and that's outside the door. Right, that's the end of the episode. Only three more to go. What did you think? All I can think is Fisk is gonna absolutely go all hammer time on every single person if she dies. Mm -hmm. I'm so scared to see him react if she actually dies. That's gonna be horrible. Yeah. Very intense. Obviously, um, Foggy finding out about Matt, everything that he was feeling, very appropriate. I totally get it. I think he's a very loyal friend. I know he's upset that like, he's viewing him as a vigilante, but I think he's more hurt that like Matt didn't tell him. Matt didn't trust him for, you know, unfounded reasons because he seems to be a good friend. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's, that's tough. I don't like seeing Foggy upset. He is like a good guy. He's a good friend. It's hard to see him upset. So um, I'm also curious as to whether Karen's gonna find out or whether they're going to tell Karen because her reaction is gonna be interesting for different reasons, obviously. That's something I'm thinking about. And then finding out about this mom. Mm -hmm. I honestly thought that it was gonna be like Karen's um, like family member or something. Yeah. But um, it ended up being his mom. Yeah. They didn't conclude that either. They just, we just find out yeah. that away. Yeah. So many like open-ended situations that I'm really curious how they're going to tie them all up. Very emotional too, like the, like I commented, it, I don't like the way this episode makes me feel. And I was referring to the foggy kind of going through the motions of processing like matt is not this person that i thought that he was yeah and you can you can feel what they feel you know you can feel foggy being hurt you can feel matt being misunderstood and made out to be somebody that he's really not so it's like uncomfortable you know you feel like you shouldn't be watching this mm -hmm. this is a very private moment between them. But it was very, very good. Very good episode. Well, I'm glad that you liked it. Uh, I think these last three episodes will really hit it home for you too. There's still some twists and turns and surprises and action and stuff to come. But that's it for now. If you enjoyed this video, leave it a like. It does help the channel out a lot. Comment down below letting us know your thoughts on this episode of Daredevil and uh, how you've been enjoying uh, watching along with us this whole time. Subscribe so you'll be notified when we post the next episodes and other fun stuff on the channel. Consider joining my Patreon to get early access to these episodes. We'll probably have the last few episodes a few days early so you get to watch it before everyone else. As always, Jen and I appreciate you watching. We'll catch you in the next episode. Take care.